been anywhere near an electronics store lately, you've probably seen some 4K TVs on display. These TVs are also called ultra high definition, and they have twice the vertical and twice the horizontal resolution of a high definition television. Right now they're pretty expensive, but you're gonna see a big push for these TVs in the next few years. So that raises the question, if you buy one right now, what is there to watch in 4K? Netflix has about a dozen movies and TV shows in 4K, and that includes Breaking Bad and recent Sony movies. And they're shooting their new series, including House of Cards, in 4K themselves. But Netflix isn't the only one trying to bring you streaming 4K. This is 4K Studios, which is part of a company called Nanotech Entertainment. Nanotech has an app called Ultraflix, which is aiming to be the Netflix of 4K. So 2013 CES, I saw the first 4K TVs and I saw the opportunity where the TVs were ready, but nothing else was. There was no infrastructure ready, no delivery mechanism ready, and nobody had 4K content. First, I'll show you, this is the Ultraflix channel running live. Okay. And we're actually showing it here running at 10 megabits. The focus of the operation is a $350,000 machine that turns film into 4K. So basically the machine captures each individual frame as an individual file. Uh, and builds you know, 25,000 frame sequences. And then we take those frame sequences on the server and we come up here, we put them through a color pass so that we can get the color correct. And then we go and take them through damage and pull out first those main you know, chunks of hair, big scratches, things like that. And then we go after the noise and master the noise and sync the sound. It's our final step and we have a product. The major studios are, are being very slow to market, you know, they're testing it out, but they're not putting a huge effort into it. And that's one of the reasons why we decided to invest in the equipment to actually go and get as many films as we could. This process gives these guys a big advantage when it comes to those older films. But for now, most of the content you can stream from Ultraflix includes independent films, lesser known movies, and original content shot here at 4K Studios. It's not quite House of Cards quality. It's still very early in 4K. Analysts say that only about 800,000 4K TVs will be sold in 2014. And no one knows who will end up winning the 4K content race. But Nanotech is betting big on being there first.